What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in light of the iPhone 7 release, I wanted to share 20 things you didn't know about the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Apple didn't share everything with us, so I will. Now, I don't guarantee you don't know everything here, but at least one or two of these will be a surprise. So the iPhone 7 ditches the physical home button. That leaves a question, how do you hard reset it or put it into DFU mode? Basically, the home button just gets replaced by the volume down button. So hold power and volume down just like you would. Wow, the screen actually works underwater. No, the iPhone 7 display does not respond underwater. Early reviewers are claiming it's just freaking out and not working. Now, before the iPhone 7 was even released, it was disassembled. The people that disassembled it claimed that it does have a rubber seal going around the edge. That means if you ever replace the display, you'll have to replace that as well. Otherwise, the water resistance gets compromised. Now, I was disappointed to learn that the materials are the exact same as the 6S. That means dual ion display. And as for the material itself, will be aluminum 7000. That means the iPhone 7 is water resistant, but it's no more durable against drops. And believe it or not, picking up the iPhone 7, you may notice it is lighter by 5 grams. It's a very small amount, but people are claiming they can actually feel it. The iPhone 7 is really exceeding expectations. Both T-Mobile and Sprint are claiming it's actually beat iPhone 7 records for pre-order by four times. Well, almost anyways. And T-Mobile CEO claims it's the most pre-ordered device in T-Mobile USA history. Who was it again that said nobody would buy a phone without a headphone jack? Hmm. After pre-orders, after the blood in the water cleared, it was apparent that the iPhone 7 Plus in jet black was the most popular phone. Apple even went out and released a statement saying anybody that's waiting in line currently to try and get an iPhone 7 Plus or an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus in jet black is wasting their time. It's actually amazing how critical the response was to the iPhone 7 and in particular the 7 Plus and the jet black color. So the iPhone 7 Plus comes with a dual camera setup. However, we didn't know the specs just until the other day and it's been confirmed that there are different apertures and sensor sizes as well as a difference in optical image stabilization so this means in different environments when you're shooting you're going to get different results so let's say you want to zoom in in a low light environment you're no longer using the wide aperture lens you're using the other one with an f 2.8 lens which means lower quality in darker environments kind of sucks also because the zoom lens has no optical image stabilization if you zoom in you're going to get more shaky video or photos even if it's just the two times optical zoom. So just like rumored, Apple did indeed make the earpiece on the front of the phone wider. This means incompatibility with any old screen protectors or cases you may have laying around. Now we knew that the cameras would be different, but now on the front of the phone, you're facing an entirely different issue. So your old screen protectors will not work. If you look at the bottom of the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, it appears that it has stereo speakers, which it does, just not here. The one on the left is just for appearances. The stereo speaker actually comes from the earpiece. Now this one's a little complicated. Depending on which carrier you buy your iPhone from, you're going to get a different LTE modem inside. If you buy from AT&T or T-Mobile, it will not have a CDMA radio. With Verizon or Sprint, it will. And it's been confirmed from many sources already, the iPhone 7 Plus will indeed have 3 gigabytes of RAM. So it's going to be a little bit faster versus the iPhone 7. And the actual battery sizes have been confirmed as well. So that means the iPhone 7 will have a 1960 milliamp battery, and the iPhone 7 Plus will have a larger 2910 milliamp battery as well. And much like 3D Touch, the customizable home button will allow you to set how much response you want coming from it. So how hard you have to press in order to activate it. And when you press, how much feedback you'll get from the Taptic engine. Talking about that Taptic engine, it's twice as big as the one on the 6S and almost three times as big as the vibration motor on the iPhone 6, which means you'll feel the vibrations in your pocket much more prominently. And what did Apple replace the headphone jack with? Just so you guys know, you're getting a bigger battery, more sound, that stereo speaker setup, and a much more prominent Taptic engine because of the removal of the headphone jack. And the iPhone 7 Plus battery is better in all ways except one. You can talk less on it. So 21 hours versus 24 on the iPhone 6s plus hmm and I really like the fact that there's a throwback in the packaging to earlier iPhones. So the Jet Black will have exclusive packaging similar to that of the iPhone 5 and very, very early iPhone models. Man, it does look good. And wow, Apple did not lie when they said this was the most powerful smartphone on the market. Almost double the single core score of any relatable major smartphone that's competing with it, including the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 and S7. It's even in MacBook Air territory. That is just incredible. And that's 20 things, 21 one things about the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus that you did not know. Hopefully now you cannot say that anymore and you learned a couple things about these devices. I'm going to have these in hand tomorrow, guys. I'm so excited. I'll be doing all of the tests on them. Stay tuned for that. 
big, big day tomorrow. Enjoy your very own iPhone 7. Peace.